In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JotForm to import a PDF form, convert it to a web form, and map those responses back to the original PDF form. So this can be really useful, say, for medical offices, insurance offices, any type of business that requires forms to be filled out for their customers, especially when these forms are long, you know, a 10-page form, 20-page form, a long and daunting form. This tool will help you digitize those forms and save those records in the original format as your paper form. So I just downloaded a random PDF that I found off the internet that I'll use for this example. So to get started, you'll create a form and choose this option to import a form. We'll then choose the option to import a PDF form. Now I'll find my document. We see here it's already imported the form. And what it's done is digitized all these fields and labels from the original PDF that we see over here on the right to the web form that we see on the left. So the first step that I'd want to do is double check each of my form labels and form fields and make sure that everything was imported and mapped over correctly. Scrolling here, full name, ID look good. This third question, looks like there was a little error here. So I'll just go and correct these labels. And here's another one where it pulled an incorrect label. So I'll just change male to married. These all look good to me. If you did have a drop down with more options in here that weren't carried over, you can double check it, you know, add, remove things as you need to. This is another drop down field. All right, so the labels and fields all look great. And now here's where the real magic happens. This is the fun part. So each of the fields you can see as I click on them, it draws that little blue line. This is showing where this answer is going to be mapped on the original PDF. So this is so great because when digitizing forms and you have office staff who have become accustomed to using the same format of this paper form, maybe for five years, 10 years, 20 years, using the jot form PDF import, this means that all the responses, all the answers to the forms are going to land in the same exact format as they would if someone was filling out the form on paper. So for office staff, this is huge because they don't have to get used to a new format for these answers. They can see everything in that original paper form format as it always has been. So that's fun. So we'll check these and just make sure that each of these options is mapped correctly and it's looking good so far. So when I select a city, it's going to then map into the city field. Language is then going to map into the language field. And even each of these um, Checkbox selects, say if I select female, it'll map to check in the circle or the box next to the female label. So now let's test this out and publish it. And now we'll open up the form and test it out. So on the customer or the user end, I'll see that original PDF that I'm going to fill out. And once I click start filling, this is where I'll then see the web form that we just set up. So I'll just fill this out real quick and then we'll see what happens. Now I've got it all filled out and I'll click submit. So now after that form is submitted, I'll be able to view the responses in my job form table and then what I can do is download that PDF. So now let's check out this PDF and see how it looks. So it looks like it mapped my name in the right place. This ID 
I might want to edit that and put the numbers off to the side of these boxes or just remove these boxes and just have this ID number, you know, paste in the same place with the boxes removed. This is just one of those things that you'll have to test it out, see how it looks, and then update accordingly. So the mailbox was checked. The married box was checked. City, that looks good. Language, again, similar with ID. It looks like it placed my selection over an existing group of text. So I may want to just edit my original PDF that I upload and just remove these options. So that way I just get a clean, you know, one answer right next to the language. So there you have it. That's where the magic happens. A mappable PDF form. We imported a PDF, converted it to a web form, and mapped the answers back to that original PDF, all using JotForm. So thanks for watching, and I hope you find this useful.